Hey guys, it's Max here. Hope you guys are all going well. Just a bit of an update on the DC3. Um, so the last couple of days, I haven't done a great deal. Um, done those little fillet areas here. I need to fill them up and everything, but I've cut the ply pieces and glued them on and everything. So that's a uh, little bit of an achievement. <clears throat> um, I've planked the rear section as well, so either side of that. And I've added the filler and I've got to actually sand all that still. A lot to, lot to do there. I haven't actually done much. I, I can just knock the top off that just to see what it looked like. This side I haven't done yet. Um, <clears throat> um, the other thing that is most noticeable is the nose. So... Uh, I ended up persevering with foam and the reason was because that one inch or thicker block that I wanted to get um, I just can't get and for the wing tips you might remember I laminated the six and a half mil pieces you can see the lines there and that sort of worked out all right and I felt more comfortable using the um, the balsa stripper for that which worked quite well um, couldn't laminate six and a half mil uh, sheeting yeah, it would have taken so much work to layer that and wasted so much expensive balsa. So I'm happy that I went this way. So well, a little while ago, I built myself a foam cutter. It's very simple. Uh, just a couple of bits of uh, wood, a couple of bolts. This is uh, like movable. So basically this hockey strap here sets the tension of the wire, um, gives it that... Um, and then I've got that hooked up with a couple of little uh, clips there, alligator clips, and then a wire, and then I just plug that straight into my power supply, and then uh, I set it, I think, it's not plugged in now, but it's set, yeah, about 17 volts, if you go, 16, 17 volts, if you go much further than that, the wire, um, it just melts up and just disintegrates really quick, um, so I find the hotter I have it, the more efficient it tends to cut, but at the expense of the wire, which yeah, just pops like a light filament sort of thing if it gets too much voltage through it. Um, so basically I use that. Um, I hold it up like that, run it down onto that piece of ply, and then just run it across like that. So it's tricky because if you sort of do that, you know, to set it was a bit janky and it was doing that. But whenever that happens, that creates like a ripple in the in the foam that's very hard to sand out. Um, and you can probably see that in some areas, uh, probably there. Um, on the bottom, there's a little bit of a ripple mark here. You can see that, see how it sort of ripples. I've, I've sanded that out a bit, so it's not so bad. A uh, little ripple there. Yeah, but it, this is just, there's another ripple there. This is just like a... So I'm going to fiberglass all this so I'm not too stressed and I'll fill in those areas with filler. Um, Gorilla Glue, that's what I use to stick all this down. So if you have a look, you can see the this is the normal foam, this is wood, that's Gorilla Glue. The good thing about it is it's not much harder when it's like that to cut with the hot wire cutter so you can really chop it out nicely. Um, so it's a good foaming adhesive that doesn't attack foam. Um, I think I showed you guys in my last video with a wingtip that uh, CA I used as a test sort of ate into it pretty well. So yeah, uh, I've experimented with the wire cut cutting before, hot wire cutting before. So that's a um, that's a wing that I made basically just to see if I could make it work. Um, you can see I've got some little ripples in there too. So it's just a sort of rough and ready job just to see. I based that on the um, on the little zonk that I built, which is this orange guy up here. That's him. So it's the same wing as that. And the colour, um, that's an automotive paint. That's the same as the Hellcat. So just wanted to see how, how well it would take to the wing. So yeah, um, works okay. So the next task, I guess, for me is to, um, I want to, cut the windows out of ply and start to arrange where they need to go here and then take up all this extra bit of extra um, room here with the foam and contour and everything um this was just a like proof of concept it's really weak it was just to see what i could do there but i'll make 
the cockpit chairs and everything and um, do all that. Probably not now, but yeah, that's just, if you're wondering why that looks a bit dodgy and it is, it's just a test I did just to see if I could do it and what I would do. Um, there's a couple of good, uh, on the, that RC scale builder, there's a couple of good build threads I've been following on that to just have like ideas for how I do this um, cockpit and everything. So I'll work on that. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you guys how the nose turned out. Pretty happy with it overall. Uh, could use a little bit more sanding, I think, but yeah, overall, tell me what you guys think. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, I also did the... Um, I did the wing seats so thanks for your help and advice on those two guys so i messaged or asked in the group about how i should uh make up the little gap that there was between here and the wing so what i've done is use that micro balloon filler um, and it turned out all right so some areas are thicker than others yeah um, i had a bit of a problem where i came out to check how it was going before the glue had dried and uh, basically it had sort of extruded into here and glued the this tube to the phenolic spacer or the phenolic um, tube in the wing. So that's a, I had to sort of pry it with a screwdriver in two places to get the wing off. Was it lucky I checked actually? I was going to just leave it overnight, come out in the morning and I think if I had if not checked, she would have been uh, fairly well stuck there. But anyway, yeah, that um, that'll come up all right. Probably just fill that in with some um, some more of that micro balloon mixture at a later date. And just probably the little hole and that there, but it just gives me the register of the part on the other piece, um, so we know that it's 100% sort of seated. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out, and it feels really nice now, really solid. You could basically pick the wing up by the tips, and the thing's just rock solid. It's really good. Um, yeah, so that's basically where I'm at at the moment. Did the tips last time. So yeah, I'll probably just fiddle around with cutting the pieces off the plan for the window and sort of mocking them up so that I can, I guess, start to fabricate a top piece there because I'm not using the Zeroli, uh You can buy the Zeroli nose piece. But, um, you know, I figure I'll, I'll just... Well, it's not easier, but it's probably a little bit cheaper. Just to muck around and my materials here and have a go at it. Um, so that's what I'll do. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably have to start thinking about carving this tail up as well. Um, I've got to run those, the wires for the control surfaces, I've got them sticking out at the moment. But they're meant to come out to about, probably about there. With another piece that they engage into that comes off this tail. Um, so I'm wondering how to do that. So I'm going to have a think about that. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's come along all right. I'm happy with the nose. It's sort of looking a bit more plain, plainish at the front now. This is good. Um, thanks to all those guys from all over the world that have been liking it, commenting on it, and even a couple of guys have PM'd me and um, I've just been really stoked that I can help them out and, you know, inspire them to give this build a crack because it is a good one so yeah once again thanks to those gentlemen that uh messaged me and yeah hope that that uh makes their projects go a bit more smoothly and yeah thanks again for watching guys and yeah i'll keep you posted as i do more on the plane see ya